Sometimes the coming together of two different activities brings inspired results. Water polo, equestrian vaulting, chess boxing, juggling. Other times less inspired, more mm, insane. This is Jamie. He's a snowboarder. And this chap, he's a pilot of an aeroplane. Mix them up and you get... up to 77.7 .7 miles per hour. I'm glad he didn't take off. Because you don't have to be towed by a plane for the landing to hurt. Yeah, Yep, some snowboarders and skiers are shunning the traditional gravity-assisted method of building velocity and turning instead to snowmobiles, ATVs and even cars. And that is a terrible and dangerous idea, as you may notice from the following physics. As our snowboarder is towed, the rope exerts a pulling force, whilst friction at the ground acts to slow him down. The distance between them produces a torque or turning effect on his body. By leaning back, he produces torque in the opposite direction and maintains balance. But as he swings out on a turn, he experiences torque rotating him sideways. So he must lean in to counter it. Get the balance right, and he can build plenty of velocity to go airborne. Not that it's recommended. Let's consider that velocity. A skier on a 20 degree slope can be accelerated by gravity to 60 miles an hour in around eight seconds. An ATV can accelerate to 60 miles an hour in five seconds. All the more reason to lean back. Okay, not exactly naught to 60 in five, but combine a lack of backwards lean with a big pulling force and big friction and you get big torque. So what if we try this on a surface with a lower coefficient of friction? Like a frozen lake, see how just a little backwards lean produces the counter torque needed to keep him perfectly balanced? Until he caught the front of his ski. Actually, I'd forget about the skis and just get a boat. No solid ground, much better. And look at this. Crouching low brings the pulling force and frictional force closer, reducing torque, and leaning back easily produces enough torque to counter this. But will he remember to lean in as he turns? Yes, he will. But only for a little bit. Don't worry, he was fine. And now we've got torque under control-ish. Let's try a jump. We just need plenty of velocity and a clear landing area. 